today for this very, very special final performance of Pattern Dance in Ohio. Um, my name is Ben Holtzman. <laughs> to us as producers and so much that we've learned on this show has changed our entire perspective of this industry and everything that we intend to do to help make it a more accessible industry for everybody. Some folks who joined us on stage uh, after the show, including our amazing swings. All of our started six years ago when Jacob uh, found the documentary on HBO and shared it with his writing partner who had shared it with um, a group of young producers who had just met them and were looking for their first project to build from the ground up. Um, at the time, I, I was working in the office of Hal Prince, who was my mentor for the last four and a half years of his life. <laughs> up in the corner that is Hal Prince. Um, around the time that I met Jacob and Rebecca, Hal was opening his final Broadway musical, Prince of Broadway, and he was looking for a new show to collaborate on. And he expressed to me that he was interested in exploring autism in a musical. And I was very, very ambitious as a young assistant and said, I have the project for you. <laughs> and I brought Jacob and Rebecca up to meet with Hal and uh, they just clicked immediately and decided that they wanted to embark on this project together which I think for anyone who was involved in those early days can say it was the most formative experience of theater making. Mm -hmm. um, what I didn't know at the time was that Hal was already very, very familiar with the documentary mm -hmm. as Alexandra Shiva, the amazing documentary. <laughs> She's a very close family friend of the Prince's and as it turned out, the documentary is dedicated to Hal's granddaughter, Lucy. So as you can see, it was really written in the stars that this, this project was supposed to start. And um, for anyone who, know, who knew Hal Prince or knows his body of work, um, you know that his entire career was dedicated to new artists and telling new types of stories on Broadway. And uh, that's exactly what we intended to do with this production. And everything about it uh, from start to finish is dedicated to Hal's legacy and Hal's memory. <laughs> also like to take a moment to acknowledge all of the real life documentary participants who were so incredibly instrumental to the development of this piece, so gracious with their time, with us, with all of the artists involved. Uh, so this is a shout out to the Amigo Family Counseling Center. <laughs> Within uh, the Amigo Family Counseling, uh, we are so lucky to have uh, two very instrumental people in the audience with us tonight, both the documentary filmmaker, Alexandra Shiva. <laughs> as, um, as well, we are so grateful to have the centerpiece of Amigo Family Counseling with us, the real Mr. Dr. Emilio. <laughs> to thank everyone who was involved in uplifting this remarkable musical 
As you can see, every person on the stage is incredible cast, our swings, all of the creative team. We also have the access team who worked with us to make accessibility not only <laughs> on stage, but also off stage. Uh, we have all of our investors and co-producers. Um, and we have you, our audience. So many of you have spread the word and we've heard you on social media and sending us emails and we are so grateful for how dedicated you all have been to this show. Um, I'd also like to thank, all, all of us would like to thank Sammy Kennell, the director. She took the reins from Al Prince and she always understood that using her great vision and genius that uh, a musical could be entertaining a work of art, and also a work of advocacy. And we also just want to let you know there will be a future for this show. to invite Imani up here, Imani Russell. to acknowledge and focus on all that we have accomplished in our, in our run, um, even in the short amount of time it was. Um, we got to share the show with 99 audiences. <laughs> we got to record, a, record an original Broadway cast album. <laughs> Broadway had this many openly actually autistic actors on stage. <laughs> Accessibility for the most marginalized of us, it will eventually be accessibility for all of us. Um, 
you know, I, on, on behalf of, of Spectrum Club 7, I want to say a, a deep thank you to Cesar, Christina, Darlicia, Haven, Nick, Andrew, Carlos, and Melina for your guidance, for your support, for your willingness to walk, learn alongside of us. Um, Spectrum Club 7. You guys know where I work. There's no one else I would have wanted to make my Broadway debut with. Um, and thank you to you all, to all of the incredible. I want to also like the autistic fans are a make up. and also the autistic subset within that has been sharing this show um, and so and and felt seen by the show and that's that's who we do it for that's the gift of the show <laughs> yes yes the show was about uh, you know seven young autistic adults facing challenges, and it was wonderful that 12 autistic people were cast to play actually autistic characters. But also, this show was about finding community on and off stage. It was about communication. It was about different ways of approaching romance. It was about connection. It was about queer characters existing with love and with care. It was about young adults. We're not children. of color who are underdiagnosed, being able to tell our story. It was about one of the first, if not the first actor from Taiwan on Broadway. It was about seven people working on achieving their goals no matter how big or small they seemed, and they all did. And they all supported each other through it all, alongside their families, blood and chosen, just like y'all supported us and like we have supported each other. Shows like this aren't supposed to make it to Broadway, but here we are. This is not the end, this is only the beginning. Thank you all for dancing with us. Thank you.